What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Salute to everyone tuning in. I got to talk about 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent for years have been warning people about Diddy, right? Now, 50 Cent has a personality. You know, he definitely, is, you know, can definitely be goofy. Uh, but he can also be, you know, there, there can also be truth and goofiness. It's like this is always truth in comedy with comedians. I definitely think that when 50 Cent has made fun of Diddy over the years, there was truth to it. A clip of 50 Cent went viral on Twitter where he basically talked about the time that Diddy wanted to take him shopping and how it made him, you know, feel uncomfortable. Made him feel uncomfortable that Diddy... <laughs> Wanted to take him shopping. Now, this is the clip here. This is the clip here. Um, we're gonna get into this clip. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all if I have any copyright issues, I'm gonna clip this out. And we'll just go over what he said afterwards. But I want y'all to see this clip, and I want y'all to see what 50 Cent had to say and how uncomfortable the people, you know, with Nori and you know how they were during this interview and he's basically saying listen um y'all gonna see y'all gonna see the type of weirdo that diddy is diddy is a weirdo because if you know diddy's being accused of of a lot of different things a lot of egregious things towards his ex cassie ventura he's also uh was accused of blowing up kid cuddy's car because kid cuddy apparently was trying to date cassie and Kid Cudi has confirmed that story. And the fact that that story didn't get headlines, or maybe because Kid Cudi didn't say anything, but Kid Cudi could have lost his life due to this idiot Diddy, his simp rage. Uh, you know, he got very reckless. I even saw in a report where, you know, Diddy was, was on security cam, was on the security cam throwing things at Cassie, chasing her. Uh, but he paid fifty thousand dollars for the video footage. I mean, this guy has been getting away with a lot of things for a lot of years. So let's get into this video. I'm not gonna say anything, but we're gonna check out this video clip. Like yo, it's like yo. So yo, when we gonna get the chance to you know to kick it? Like we could just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta oh, kick that, it. This is pop. Okay. Now this it might remind you of y'all remember Fabulous? Y'all remember when Fabulous was sitting? At that table, I think it was the drink champs, and Diddy was there talking about how he really wants to party with Fabulous, and Fabulous looked highly uncomfortable. Well, you know, Diddy wanted to party with, he wanted to party with 50 Cent. Yeah. He telling me we got a kick in this shit, and he was like, yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this nigga just say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him, because I was like, this, this nigga, like, fuck it. This nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> I'm saying, Chill. man, listen, I'm trying to tell you the truth, but Yo. the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit, but right. I'm trying to tell you, nah. nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? Like, I want to take you shopping. I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. I want to take you shopping. Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I want to feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when a nigga tell me he want to take me shopping, what the fuck is the matter with this nigga? Wait, hold on. But where was this at? This was at the wedding. And that was from 50 Cent. Uh, I believe this was Drink Champs. Um, when he was speaking to Nori. Like, 50 is always made fun of, of Diddy. And I, I told the story how in my previous video about Diddy, I'll link that in the description box. He spoke about how Diddy, he, this was years ago. This was years ago. He spoke about how Diddy sent him pictures of him and I believe Cassie getting it in. 
did uh you know 50 cent has always been like a staunch ad you know uh it's an adversary but he's always spoken out against diddy 50 cent has been one of the few to speak out because 50 never needed diddy so i think that's why he always felt comfortable to speak out against them there's a lot of people felt like they need diddy right and diddy is a powerful person in entertainment but you know 50 has always called them out 50 has has consistently called out diddy and his weirdoness because diddy's a weird guy diddy's a weird guy and what he's been accused of is is um it's not good it really isn't um some of those things you know you look at it and you say to yourself but cassie stayed for a long time but a lot of th what you have to understand he did help her career. She was doing, I believe she still was doing acting. He was doing acting and, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was going to all these big events. A lot of women will put up with, now again, as I said in my other video, this is all alleged, right? These are alleged incidents. But I would never put that past Diddy whatsoever. And people got to remember, this is the same Diddy that attacked his son's strength and conditioning coach <clears throat> when his son was attending UCLA. And I guess he didn't like the way the strength and conditioning coach was talking to Justin. So he went up there to confront the guy and ended up getting arrested. That story kind of went away, right? But that was when Justin Combs was at UCLA. So if Diddy's willing to go and try to fight a strength and conditioning coach over his son, y'all don't think that this man would be emotional enough to get into it with the woman that he's dating? I'm just saying that that rage that she talks about in her lawsuit diddy is very weird he's a, he's a very weird guy and again these are allegations but it's not looking too good for diddy it really isn't now let's get into what 50 cent had to say because he took a jab at him like i knew he would uh, that's according to complex 50 cent is coming for diddy again the g unit boss took to instagram and x on thursday evening to take another jab at the embattled hip-hop mogul fifth posted on both platforms just hours after news the singer songwriter cassie filed an explosive lawsuit in which she accused diddy of a whole list of crimes throughout their romantic and business relationship using one of his longtime foes monikers fifth wrote damn brother love brother love brother love you out here looking crazy as a M effort. Now, this is what <laughs> this is what 50 Cent had put up, man. Listen, leave it to 50 Cent to find the humor in this. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people went running to 50 Cent's page to see what he have to say. And he did not disappoint. And I want y'all to understand 50 Cent has been warning us about Diddy for a long time. He's been warning us about Diddy. Now, again, these are allegations, but if anybody knows that Diddy's capable of anything, it's a lot of these guys in the industry, right? They know. And 50 has, has been one of the few, because he brought up Jaguar, right? But 50 Cent has been doing it longer. He's been calling out Diddy longer, right? In a humorous way, because again, when you are using comedy in certain situations, sometimes, you know, that can get perceived as just being jokes, right? But no, but there is truth in jokes. When comedians say things in their, their jokes, just because you're laughing, they're not laughing because there's truth to it. And I think 50 has been one of the few rappers who's been in a comfortable, comfortable enough space to really say, you know, Diddy's a weird guy. You might, you might want to be careful dealing with Diddy because of the type of guy he is, and 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 just what the type of stuff that he's on. I I saw, um, I think it was a YouTube video, YouTube documentary, and there was a guy that said that he saw Diddy at one of these um these industry like uh, orgy parties, and Diddy was in there you know laid up with the guy and and you know and they, and he said that um he later saw diddy on the red carpet and diddy recognized him and was like i think he said uh hey do i know you 
And this is why Diddy was being interviewed on the red carpet. I guess the guy was somewhere near, you know. And I guess the guy was like, no, or whatever. And, and Diddy was like, oh, okay. You know. The guy has, a, you know, he has a lot of uh, dark energy, as they would say. He has been, you know, he's, uh, he came up in a time in the industry where there was no social media. So we don't know a lot of the things that that he was exposed to that he felt like was normal again these are all allegations but did he and there's been stories about there's been stories about you know a certain artist doing something to him and getting caught i believe jaguar right was it was it jaguar right spoke about this or somebody else uh about catching diddy in a compromising position with the with one with the male artist right so there's been stories out and that was in the 90s right and i think diddy's type of guy again these allegations you know they get used to getting away and being able to pay their way out of situations but diddy might have met his match because if it's true that he tried to settle with her that lets you know that he knows that he's guilty and he wanted this you know to go away and i don't think this is gonna go away unless she gets close to the money that she's asking for. Now, if Diddy came to her with a settlement and she refused it, it, it was supposedly an eight figure settlement. If she rejected it, because this, this question was posed to me, like why would she reject an eight figure deal, eight figure settlement? I think it's because Cassie wants to prove a point. I really do. I think she wants to prove that she can defeat Diddy in court because she could have taken that deal that that settlement but she didn't do that she wants to go to court or she wants her 30 million which diddy is like i'm not giving you 30 million but now we see why diddy is giving his artists back their masters even though and a lot of them say the masters aren't worth anything we see he gave a million dollars to Howard University, I believe. You got the Tupac stuff that's not going away. There might be other things that are gonna be happening and you know, Diddy's gonna be a, a part of that. I think that Diddy sees the writing on the wall and I think that he's in, he's in, he's in a situation that he never thought he'd be in because he always thought that his name and his money would protect him from certain situations. Now, again, these are all allegations, but it may not be able to do it in this situation because it looks to me that Cassie's determined to beat him in court or have him give her close to the money that she wants. Diddy has nobody to blame but himself. Again, these are all allegations. But he has nobody to blame but himself. And guys like 50 Cent <laughs> are going to make fun of it. <laughs> so let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.